And so you're going to have the public messaging of President Biden. And I fully expect him to wrap his arms around it, the Israeli leadership and their people, show empathy, and he should. The first thing to say is, if he fails to humanize Palestinians, to show empathy to Palestinians, to speak of Palestinian pain and suffering, which is all too real, and we heard Raji Sarani, then he is, by sins of omission, encouraging the kind of, I don't use this word lightly, genocidal language that is proliferating right now, and that is incredibly dangerous to everyone. So that's in public. In private, I hope, my hopes aren't high, I have to say, but what needs to happen is a strong message to the Israelis. It will have to go public if necessary of what they can and cannot do and how do we prevent a broader escalation, step back from the brink in the immediate term, and then get to grips with the fact that Palestinians who live without hope, rights, the ability to plan a future are not going to succumb to that. It doesn't justify anything, but we have been warning for years that this will explode, and it has, and now we need a different approach.